David Swank, one stock you like over at the Hood River Small Cap Growth Fund is Sinosure. Sinosure is up around 20% year to date. They beat the street on the top and bottom lines last week in their second quarter. So what's going to take this cosmetic laser company higher throughout the rest of the year? Sure. These guys are really good at developing innovative new products. Right now, they've got a hot new product called Sculpture, which is good for reducing belly fat, so it can take care of love handles and muffin tops and that sort of thing. Uh, they should be able to do 220 in EPS next year. They should trade at 20 times that or 66 bucks. You also like PRA Health Sciences. They also beat the street in their second quarter last week. Stock popped on that news. It's up around 4% year to date. So talk about this one. What takes this one higher? Sure. Well, right now, there's a nice tailwind for the entire space because of uh, the well-funded situation of biotechs and pharmaceutical companies. But on top of that, the people in industry that we talk to really like the service and the value that they're getting from this company. I think that they should have upside this year. They should be able to do about 3 bucks next year and trade at 20, 20 times that or 60 bucks. You're also a fan of Nuvasiv. Now, that stock's up 15%. Uh, so far this year. They're a medical device maker for spinal surgery. They also beat and raised last week. Let's talk about this one. You're hot. All right. So Nuvasiv's key system is called the XLIF system, the extreme lateral interbody fusion system. It lets spinal surgeons do minimally invasive surgery, remove disease discs, and place new implants. Docs love it. It's good for patients because it's a quicker surgery, less blood loss, shorter hospitalization times, and uh, they should be able to grow top line 12%. They should get a lot of margin expansion, which should let them grow bottom line about 25%. Should trade at 30 times my 250 estimate or $75. All right, one more hot implant provider is Integra Life Sciences. Now, this stock is also on a very good run so far this year, also beat the street uh, in its second quarter. Tell me about Integra. Sure. Integra should have margin upside from here as it uh, experiences a favorable mix shift into the higher margin orthopedics and implant space. And then on top of that, it has some interesting new products that, that they're rolling out, like OmniGraft, which is uh, for treating diabetic foot ulcers. So they should have double digit or approaching double digit top line growth and good margin expansion and it should be a $100 stock. All right, well, thanks a lot for coming on and talking about them. David Swank. Thanks, Greg. And thank you for watching The Street.